If you've ever been prescribed warm compresses by your eye doctor to help treat your dry eye, then stay tuned because this video is for you. Do you want to be in my video? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Sarah Blackwelder. I'm an optometrist practicing here in Austin, Texas. And today I want to take you through my product review of the new Tear Restore Thermal Heat Mask that's intended for the treatment of dry eye. Optometrists love using heated products to treat dry eye. The heat is intended to target the meibomian glands. Now those are oil producing glands that live in the eyelids. There's 30 on top, 30 on bottom, and they're kind of like long test tubes full of oil. When we blink, the force from our blink should squeeze those tubes and oil should shoot out and coat the front surface of the eye. That oil prevents the water from evaporating off of our eyes. And with every blink, our lid drags the oil over the surface of the eye and helps evenly coat the surface with the tears. Over time with things like medication, hormone changes, contact lens wear, dietary changes, and aging, the oil in those glands can become impacted or hardened. And that's typically what we're trying to target when we use warm compresses. We're trying to really soften that oil so that we improve the consistency as well as the quantity that comes out of those oil glands and can help treat dry eye. The most common type of dry eye we see is the evaporative kind where you have an issue with oil production. I don't tend to see as much tear production as much of an issue with tear production where somebody just doesn't produce enough tears. When I prescribe warm compresses, I typically find it tedious to actually prescribe and explain to the patient. The reason being that most of the warm compresses that are available on the market do require you to sit with your eyelids closed for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, one to two times a day. And I think that can be very tedious for patients to do. It disrupts their natural flow of tasks. It can interrupt productivity. And most patients just find that they don't wanna do it. If you're in bed at night and you are already comfortable, you have to get up and go heat that in the microwave. And a lot of patients will opt not to do it um, if one or two times a week, if at all. I personally never did my heat compresses for my own treatment of dry eye until I got the tear restore mask. All right, the reveal. The mask contains a hard outer shell here that has a strap on the back that will hook to the back of your head. Inside it also contains two gel packs. Now these gel packs are made of a vinyl outer covering and contain a chemical solution inside that when activated by this button here will heat up throughout the mask. You then place this inside the hard outer shell and put it on your eyes for about 15 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and heat one up so you can see. So the chemical reaction will take place throughout and you will notice this crystallization moving across the mask and you'll also feel it becoming hot in your hands. Go ahead and massage out the mask. And once you are done and the mask is heated throughout, now it's ready to use. So once the gel pack is heated up, you'll go ahead and snap it inside of the hard covering. There are these little edges, ridges around the eye holes that you can hook the gel pack to. And once it is on, you are ready to go. So once the gel pack is inserted to the hard shell covering, you'll go ahead and place it on and wear it for about 10 to 15 minutes. I love that it looks like a superhero mask. <laughs> One major advantage of this mask is the eye holes. I can obviously talk to you while I'm doing my heat compress. You can go about your day with the mask on while still remaining productive. You can do it at work. You can do it while you watch TV at the end of the day. You can do it while you cook. You can do this mask, heat, use this heat mask while you do anything around the house. I was pretty hesitant about the holes in the eyes in the beginning before I initially tried this mask because the intended target of heat compresses are actually the meibomian glands, which are in the eyelids themselves, the top and the bottom. And so if you are using a mask that has areas cut out where the target is, how is it going to be effective? And I myself personally have felt the effectiveness of the heat reach my eyes when I'm using this mask. Tear Restore also themselves did studies of thermal imaging where they show the heat that's effectively reaching the meibomian glands. The second advantage of having your eyelids open while you are doing a heat compress is that you are actively blinking. And so all that oil that's now being heated is actually being ex expressed by your own eyelids, which is a huge advantage. 
Once you're done with the heat pack, it will turn crystallized like this, and you do need to boil it for about two to three minutes in order to soften it back up so that you can reuse it. These gel packs can actually be re reused up to 90 times before you do have to replace them. And you can buy replacements from Tear Restore or possibly from your eye doctor who might carry this product. Once you boil it, it'll go back to looking like this gel pack here. I've actually used both of these, so this is exactly what it looks like after you boil it. I do find that two to three minutes might not be sufficient in order for it to fully return back to the gel state. I find maybe more five to seven minutes is adequate. I'm really excited about this product. I'm happy to now be carrying it in my office as an alternative option for patients who I do prescribe at home warm compress treatments to. I do still carry the beaded mask option that you heat in the microwave and you place on your eyes with your eyelids closed. I think the advantage of those is they do come at a lower price point. The Tear Restore mask is a little bit more of a premium product, which comes at a higher cost, as well as you do have to buy the reusable gel packs. Those gel packs will last you about six months or so. I personally think the investment is well worth it, especially if it gets you to do your warm compresses. I'm curious to hear about your personal experience with warm compresses or other heat treatments. Have you used any at-home masks? What did you like? What did you not like about them? And I'm curious to know if you have tried or now will try the Tear Restore mask. And as always, like and subscribe.